Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Against here. In this video, we're going to create a simple Python script to be able to draw with a mouse on a white canvas. So just trying to draw black lines on a white canvas in a separate window using Python and OpenCV. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. Okay, so the very first thing to consider, we need to import a couple of packages here. So I want to say import cv2 and import numpy as mp. The next thing to consider, we need to initialize a canvas. So we can use an numpy array for this sort of a purposes. So I can say canvas equals np dot zeros and I need, let's say, 800s by 600s. I'm using the only channel, so not the RGB, but black and white. So I use one here. If you want RGB, you just specify three. Okay, and np.uint8 is the size for the elements. The next thing, I want to display the canvas in a window. So I can simply say cv2. Dot image show and let's call it draw and I want to display my canvas then I want to break out of a program on the button click so cv2 dot wait key and zero and finally I want to clean up windows so I can simply say cv2 destroy all windows and that's kind of it. Okay, so now let's open the terminal in the current working directory and by typing python3 draw.py I hope to see a canvas. Okay, awesome. But the problem is that it's black, so we need to make it white. Okay, so let's say make canvas white. So we can simply say canvas.fill and 2055, which stands for white. So this is the value for every single pixel on a canvas. So NumPy array serves as the backend kind of like for this canvas, it's literally like two dimensional array. And every value is set to 2055. And in this case, we actually do have this sort of white canvas, quite pretty simple. Okay, guys, so let's go further on. Uh, we also need to uh, we also need to bind mouse events. So we can simply say cv2 dot set mouse callback and specify the window. So I'm using this one called draw. And we need to specify the callback function called draw. We don't yet have this sort of a function. So here we have a mouse callback function here. And I say dev draw. Okay, takes a bunch of parameters. So event on its own, then the current x, then the current y then the flags and parameters. The last two are not going to be used, but they have to be specified anyway. So let's just say print and current x and current y just to make sure that our mouse, uh, mouse bound, uh, binding is working. So let's run this code again. And now you see, as long as I move the mouse on canvas, it kind of uh, retrieves the coordinates. This is good. Okay, so now we need to specify uh, some global coordinates and drawing state. So I can simply say like x equals to zero, y equals to zero, and drawing is a boolean value is equal to false. Okay, so now the first thing to consider here, we need to hook up uh, our global variables okay and we can simply say global x y and drawing 
okay and now we need to handle mouse mouse down event then we want to handle a mouse move event and eventually we want to handle mouse up event as well so here i can say if and event is equal to cv2 dot event l button down that's the name for the event in this case let's just simply say print down okay elif uh event is equal to cv2 dot event mouse move and here i want to here i just want to bring the coordinates okay and here i live event equals to cv2 l mouse up and here let's just print up okay so let's have a look so we still have uh movements so down movements up okay hold on a sec there was a small issue there so l mouse oh i'm sorry l button up i'm, I'm sorry so l button up so it should be working now so down up nope come on oh i just missed the event i'm sorry guys okay it now should be working properly up down up okay so the next thing to consider so here we need to update our coordinates so we can say the global x is equal to current x and the global y is equal to current y and then we want to <laughs> i forgot the word to enable enable drawing flag so we can say drawing equals to true okay we no longer need this message here and when the mouse is up we want to disable drawing flag so here we say drawing equals to false okay and here we actually need to draw our line but uh, we need to do this only in case if our drawing flag is uh, available so draw if let's say draw only if mouse is down so if draw in in this case we do the rest of stuff so let's have a look how it works so okay it's not exactly what i meant so oh it just didn't save sorry guys so now if i just uh, move the mouse nothing happens but if i click and move it's you see like it starts uh, responding uh, properly okay so the next thing to consider we actually need to draw draw the line and here we can say cv2 dot line then we want to draw this on a canvas so we specify the array we're supposed to be drawing with uh, within the canvas one then we need to specify the from and to coordinates so this would be like from current x and current y and up to global x global y then the color the color i use zero which stands for black okay and finally thickness so the thickness is gonna be let's make it equal to two and here also we need to update the coordinates again so the coordinates so i can simply say x and y equals to current x and current y okay so it's not gonna be working yet because we don't actually update 
are the the image of this uh, the, this window is not getting updated yet so here we want to specify our infinite drawing loop and I can simply say while true okay and here I want to update canvas so I can simply say cv2 dot image show so literally uh, showing the updated version of our canvas uh, array right and here we specify the draw and the canvas that's pretty it and I just want to change the uh, escape condition so I would say a break out of program if uh, let's say on escape button hit okay so we need to bitwise end with a hexadecimal hexadecimal ff so if this is equal to 27 which is the key code for escape key in this case we just want to break out of this loop and if i did everything properly it should now be capable of actually drawing lines on the canvas okay so let's try to make uh, the thickness uh, equal to three and go for a final for a final uh, test here. Okay, just hold on a sec. Uh, I don't like the layout, so I probably probably missed something. Okay, now it's much better. So I can simply say. Onion uh, say yo, which means hello in Korean. Yo ro bun, which means everyone. Thanks. Thanks for watching okay guys this is it from my side so thanks for watching until the next time and take care